This video is brought to you by Ace of Twelve Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, Ace up here, and we're just going to start on the first JavaScript tutorial. Uh, the reason being because I just felt like redoing the JavaScript series. But I'm going to try and get all of the ones I've already gone through in the previous tutorials I just deleted done so we can start getting onto the new content. Uh, anyways, let's get right into it. So uh, open up Notepad++ and uh, I've already pretty much written out everything I need for the tutorial. It's kind of a new thing I'm going to be doing uh, just so it's easier for me. But basically you can just type as we go along. So all you really need at the moment is the uh, the opening and closing document tags, your body tags with nothing in between them, then the head tags, uh, then you might you can have a title tag if you want. And now we move on to the uh, this new script tag, and with an attribute of type equals text slash JavaScript. That's because um, you can have a couple of different languages between the script tag so we need to specify which language we're using uh, and then you just close that script tag off here and um, anyway before we get on to this I'm just gonna start going through this so uh, inside we can start writing um, JavaScript and let's go first over the um, this first statement here you can see I've written document dot write and then in between and then a pair of parentheses here, starting there, ending there, and then a pair of quotes, and in between the quotes I've written hello world. Okay, and um, so first let's cover what does this document bit mean? Well, whenever you write document in between in a JavaScript file, uh, JavaScript immediately knows you're talking about everything between these two opening and closing tags, okay? So namely, from the closing body tag to the starting head tag, all this is the document to JavaScript. Okay, and when we use document.write, we basically write inside the body bit, inside the body section, okay? So, uh, so that's what the document bit is. That's the entire, everything between the two opening and closing tags. And the dot write bit just means I want to write to it. So basically, I want to write inside the body section here, okay? And now, we can use this document.write function to do many things, including output, well, write strings to the body function. And as you can see here, I've just written hello world. And if we just save this, and I've already, uh, let's just refresh quickly though. You can see here, I've written hello world. But the one problem is, uh, when I next wrote hello world here, you can see, I've got exactly the same thing here, apart from one difference I'll just cover later. When I next wrote hello world there, it's on the same line. So to sort this problem, uh, in document.write functions, you can in fact use HTML. So here I've demonstrated that using the br tag to break lines. And uh, just so you know, you can use pretty much any HTML tag. So I could make this a header, whoops, h4, uh, and then I just put the closing tag around it. I could put span style tags in here and everything. Uh, oh, whoops, that, there's one little thing I'm going to be going over in a second though. So anyway, um, I've demonstrated the BR tag here, and as you can see, this is here's the second one, and this is the output of the second one. As you can see, because I put BR here, the next hello world, which is this one, which is this one here, is on the same is on a different line. Sorry, and then I've demonstrated again. I've got BR, and then I've got hello world, and that's on a, another line as well. And now I've just put three uh, line breaks, and I'm just going to uncomment this. We'll talk about comments in a second. Um, so as you can see here, one problem with using um, quotes in in this document or write statement is that they're, if they're the same type of quote as we use to write this literal this uh, string here, as you can see, we need these quotes to write the string. If I take away these quotes and save that, nothing appears, and that's because there's an error there. So we need these two quotes here, the opening and closing quotes. Basically, what's happening in this statement is we're opening the quotes here, we're writing hello, and then we're closing the quotes, and then in between these quotes we have the words uh, acid, which uh, it thinks is a function, or some type of keyword in JavaScript, because it's not actually between quotes, because that was the closing one here, and then the next opening one we have here is this quote, 
which is after the text okay so that's why it's mucking up so to solve this problem as you can see just before I go on uh, this stuff here is the same color as this stuff here it's slightly gray whereas here it's entirely black so that's that's the little problem but to solve this problem we can basically uh, we can just use single quotes as you can see here I've written hello ASIB and then uh, ASIB is surrounded by single quotes and then a line break of course and then the closing double quote or we can use the alternative of that we can open with single quotes and then we can use double quotes inside and again line break and then closing the single quotes like so so I'm just going to delete that otherwise it's going to screw up my uh, code and if I just save and refresh here as you can see it's written hello ASIB between um, with single quotes there and then hello ASIB with double quotes there so that's just to demonstrate that I know it works okay and now I'm just going to uh, talk about comments okay remember how I said I've just commented this bit out with that faulty statement well basically these these are commented out also I just I'm just going to talk about that now basically comments are entirely ignored they're purely here for uh, us humans to help un help us understand the code uh, and anything after a comment will not be taken as code, it will just be ignored as I said before. And we have two different types of comments here. The first type is this single line comment which starts with a double forward slash. You can see here if I take away the double forward slash that comes back as a proper statement. So let's just uh, put a double forward slash here. And this is a comment. And if I save that and run this see this still runs fine okay um, and that comment is isn't printed out or anything okay so that's just something we need to uh, go over and whoops I'm just trying to find my thing without showing you a quick secret here so anyway back to this code um, let's uncomment this comment and uncomment this comment here as well as you can see we can use comments like this just by themselves on the same line but we can also use them after a statement uh, like so. Here I've written the statement and then after the statement I put a single line comment saying uh, this command outputs a text box with the text hello world in between it, it inside that text box sorry and then the same thing here. Um, now one thing I forgot actually I should just put this back it, I'll put it here is because this is a single line comment we can't then go on putting code here if we do that and if I uh, whoops I'll just get rid of that quickly if I now refresh, you can see nothing off. Wait. Okay, I don't know why, but that shouldn't be outputting there at all. Oh, I, yeah, sorry, it is working as I thought. Everything before uh, this false statement is working. As you can see, we get the, uh, the double quoted thing here. That's the last thing before this comment, and then uh, this random code here. So everything before works, but everything after doesn't work. And really, if it did work, uh, all this will be outputting and stuff, okay? So that's just one of the downfalls of a single line comment. Uh, but to solve this problem, we have uh, multi line comments, and these just start with a uh, uh, forward slash. I'll show it so it's a bit more clear here. Forward slash and then a star. And you can see everything's turned green because that wouldn't make a comment. So forward slash and then a star, which is just shift 8 on my keyboard. And then we can type everything in between that and everything in between that will be a comment and then to close this multi-line comment we just use the opposite of a star and then a forward slash as opposed to a forward slash and then a star okay so that's that's a multi-line comment and now let's uh, run this stuff okay uh, so here you can see I've used the command alert hello world br to output a tech to give out a text box which contains the text hello world and uh, as well, I expected this br statement to um, to end the to break the line to end this line, but unfortunately it doesn't. And the reason being is it doesn't work here, but it does in the document dot write statement. Is this is going to be a bit long here uh, because remember I talked about how the document dot write statement writes inside the body section of this page, whereas the alert statement it doesn't write to anywhere. It just gives out a text box. So the document.write statement is writing to somewhere where HTML is understood, and that's why we can use HTML.